Hello, kitty boobs and kitty babs. You are welcome once again to my channel. I hope you are doing well. Very good. Stay home and stay safe, alright? Now, the last time we talked about the prisms, we talked about square prisms, we talked about what the development is, what the prism is, and so on. And then we also talked about the types of prisms. Very good. Now, today we are going to talk about the rectangular prism. Please, if you've not subscribed, subscribe. And then don't forget to hit on the bell icon for further videos. Is that clear? Now, I didn't see your comment. Please, I need more comments. And then if you want any topic that you want me to, if you have any topic that you want me to teach, please let me do that. Let me get it from you and then I will gladly help you. Thank you very much. Okay, today we're going to talk about the rectangular uh, prism as I said. Now you draw your reference line after setting your paper and then getting your, the stock of the T-square glued to the size of the drawing board. You draw it nicely. Now let's do it two lines at reasonable intervals. First one. Please, you should start with faint lines so that at least when there's a mistake and you want to clean, you wouldn't soil the paper. I beg you. Now, we have our rectangular prism of height 6 and then the base we have 3 and then 4. Very good. Now, let's go on. We know that with a rectangle, two opposite sides are equal. Very good. So, we move on with our three. I've told you that the set square one usage of it is for drawing vertical line. Now, you measure your three like that. Then let it also go. Please make sure that the T square, the set square does not enter down here. Make sure it stays on top of it. That is why you have to firmly grip the T square. Fine. Now, on this height, you measure your six centimeters. Look at it very carefully. A six. And then down here, you measure your two. Since it is a rectangle, please. Go by the dimensions. You have to follow straight instructions. From your six, you project this faintly to the right, and then from here also, you provide it to the right. Very good. So you have your plan here, and then you have your front view or front elevation, as I said. Don't forget your calibrations. You have your one, two, three, and then four. I said in the other video that the development is always carried from the plan, and it is true. Now, we have our length to be three, and then our height to be two. So, we move out reasonably, you can use your ruler or your divider. You have your three, then you have your two. Now from the two you count, another three, and then another two. What we have, we have one, two, three, four, and then one. When you look at it, it's unequally spaced. They are not equal. They are unequal because we have the three and then the two as their dimension for the rectangle. Now, after that, you put this one on, and then you project it to tag the top. It also comes there again. Let it go, tag the top. Let it go. Let it go again. Then once again, the last one. Very good. So, when you finish, you have to now deepen your dimensional lines. So, you deepen it nicely. 
nicely. Please don't forget, you have to learn how to sharpen your pencils well. The tip of your pencil, it's either conical or the chisel. Now we have to dip in the internal part. Very good. Now under it, you write the surface. Development. of a triangular prism. When you look at it, you see that since the development is carried from the plan, you notice that we have our first tray and then you see that the shorter dimension comes, which is the two. The second tray comes and then another two comes. Please, don't do it like the square. There's a rectangle. Two opposite sides are equal. Thank you, and then enjoy your day. Bye-bye.